What's up? It's Jared from Vandalistka Vlogs, and today I'm going to be sharing a couple of things that have been popping up in the news lately, let's say over the last two weeks or so. Now, I don't generally watch a lot of TV, so I don't actually get a lot of news. Mostly the news that I do watch ends up being, you know, really regurgitated by online pundits, commenters, that kind of thing. So, you know, I'll, I'll watch like a lot of Steven Crowder and Ben Shapiro and so, so on and so forth. But in my new job, um, there's a TV pretty much directly in front of me all day. And so you get to hear about some news sometimes. Sometimes some stuff that you don't want to know, but I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Let's get right into... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. A random attack in a Canberra car park has triggered a statewide manhunt. A woman shot as she sat in her vehicle this morning. Nine's Harry Frost joins me live from Canberra. Harry, police now have a man in custody. Yes, Peter, local residents and cricket fans are breathing a sigh of relief with police having a man in custody and having seized a gun. They say his alleged victim's ordeal began at around 8 o'clock this morning in a car park at a nearby school. Investigators say a man climbed out of another car and opened fire on her vehicle. Wounded in the head by shattered glass and a bullet, she drove herself here to the Oval where she sought help from security staff before being taken to hospital in a stable condition. Meantime, a manhunt got underway and some local businesses were told to take shelter. He told us that there was... Imagine that. Imagine just somebody sidling up to your car, pulls out, a, pulls out some kind of firearm, pulls out some kind of weapon, shoots through your window at your head. This woman got hit in the jaw with a round and hit in the face with glass. Like, obviously nothing can be done about that so let's just move on to the next one it's a fiery end to an abduction and shooting which began suburbs away in yaguna there was going to be four big fellows bundling him into a car and uh, i didn't think i could help him in that case unfortunately unfortunately my heart went out to the fellow locals could only watch on as their 28 year old neighbor struggled in an attack by a gang of men. We put up a very good fight. Yeah. yeah. Was he trying to run away? Or... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what all the struggle was about. Him trying to get away and him them trying to get him in. This is an horrific crime where someone is uh, dragged off the street. Less than an hour later, an explosion on a street in Carlton as a white Holden Commodore is doused in petrol and set alight. I heard a pop. Uh, ran to the window, had a look, and the car was well alight. Seen a couple of guys. I know that for most people, for you know, really, for most people, the urge toward the protection of others versus your own self-protection and the protection of your personal loved ones, that's pretty strong. So I kind of understand old mate saying, oh, he got bundled up by some big blokes and popped in a car. You know, you saw the blood on the street. He obviously, they had a fair go of him before they dragged him off. And he's obviously thought, and I, I imagine there's other people who saw it happen and they obviously thought as well, yeah, not today. I'm not, <laughs> not getting amongst it. But if they had some kind of way to, if that guy had some way to protect himself, or if those people had a way to even the odds, maybe that could have been prevented. Now, I, obviously, three big burly boys come and snatch you up from your house and take you away. You've probably messed up. You've probably done something to warrant that happening. But, do you need to be dragged off, have a car set on fire, and then, which I didn't show in here because I wasn't really thinking about it, but I I got shot four times and left in an alleyway to die. Yeah. Of a car is the latest hope for police as they hunt for a suspected killer involved in a gun battle at a five dock apartment in Sydney's inner west. The white SUV was seen driving along West Street in the early hours of April 2. A man was shot in the head, another in the stomach, with one man already charged in connection to that shooting. <laughs> so 
So this one, this is just gang stuff, right? This has got to be gang stuff, drug stuff probably. I'm gonna get shot in the head. Like, so in this instance, we're not really talking about how could this have been prevented, but what I would say is being mindful of the fact that this is happening in public. They don't go to a, a specific roped off gang fight only area. This is just happening in the streets of Australia, right? So does it not stand to reason that responsible, law-abiding citizens of Australia should be able to protect themselves from all this random acts of violence. There's one I've left out here I actually forgot to record, but there's a, a, a woman got shot in the face through her door and... <laughs> no, it wasn't a cop shooting through the door this time without looking. Just some rando gang guy, but she didn't even get a chance to open her door. He's baited her, knocked on the door, and then as soon as he got to the door, he shot through the door and hit her in the face. At what point do we think, hmm, all those guns we used to have be pretty, uh, pretty handy right now. <laughs> Anyway, that's what's happening down here. <laughs> uh, hope everybody's taking care of themselves. Uh, just thought I'd make a video just pointing out how ridiculous this place is. Uh, until we see you again, God bless, look after each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and shout out to my 180th subscriber, whoever you are. Uh, you were on private, so no shout out, but if you want to let me know, let me know.